breathing. Welcome to the second semi-final contest of MasterChef USA. The winner today will become a finalist in our national competition to be chosen the best amateur chef in the country. Our three contestants are already chopping and stirring in the red, yellow and blue kitchens, so let's go and check out the very heated action. But first, it's jacket off. We've got the sleeves up, now let's get cooking. Each contestant on MasterChef must create a three-course menu in less than two and a half hours for less than $75. In the red kitchen, we have Kyung Chang from New York City, New York. Kyung, how are you feeling? I'm okay, thank you. Look a little bit stressed? No, it's all right. No, just relaxed? Just another day. Well, it all looks very, very sort of clean and simple here, but I know there's an awful lot more going on in your food, and so I'm going to tell everybody at home exactly what's going on in your dishes, because Kyung's first course is steamed egg custard with shiitake mushroom topping. The main course is red snapper fillet in crab soup, and dessert is honey ginger ice cream with sweet red bean sauce. How would you describe this food? What, what well, exactly? It is a completely, absolutely Korean cuisine. 95% of seasonings I'm using in this menu is um, from my, my childhood, right. from my mother's kitchen pantries. And the red bean, the red bean with a, with a dessert, that sounds quite interesting. Right. What, what exactly is that? Instead of using it in main courses, I'm, I'm turning that into a dessert sauce. So that would be a slightly sweeter, sweetened much sweeter. bean, is it a bean puree, a bean yes. sort of sauce? Uh -huh. Cooked and pureed and strained twice. Right. You getting hungry? I'm getting hungry, but I thought I'd better show you something coming from the yellow kitchen too. Best of luck to you, Ken. Thank you very much. And in the yellow kitchen, we have Cindy Blakesley from Montpelier in Vermont. How are you feeling? As Fine. relaxed as always? Yes. It you focused. do. You do look so relaxed in this kitchen. It's a joy to watch. You know, no pressure, no stress. Well, I don't know about that. Just lots of good flavours. And guess what these flavours are? For Cindy's first course, we've got roasted beet salad with a raspberry creme fresh dressing. The main course is stuffed chicken breast with cognac sauce. And dessert is mascarpone with cabernet cherries. Now, I want to ask you something. When you were sitting in that guest room and we were doing our tasting, you know, for your yes. regional, mm -hmm. did you think you won after tasting everybody else's? Be honest now for camera. I thought there was a distinct possibility. <laughs> I love the way she's put that. It seems your menu today has got some British, some Italian, some French kind of influence to I'm, it. I'm eclectic at best. The dessert, um, I recently discovered mascarpone and fell in love with it. And I love Cabernet wine and I love cherries and I managed to find a way to put all those in there. So I'm looking forward to that. And we've got lots of new sort of textures, tastes mm -hmm. and flavours yes. to enjoy. Yes. Anyway, I should leave you alone because it is semi-final time. You need every minute from that two and a half hours that you have while I move on to the Blue Kitchen. And finally in the Blue Kitchen, we have Lala Chima from Port Orange, Florida. So, Lala, how are you feeling? Good. You feeling good? Mm -hmm. Shall I just tell you something? She just said to me before we started filming there, she goes, does my hair look all right? <laughs> well, I, was, see, I have to look good in, against your hair. It looks as tasty as the dishes you're going to be Thank giving you. us, I know, because you've got lots of lovely things, and I'm going to share them with everybody at sure. home. Because Lala's first course is samosas with tamarind chutney. Her main course is lamb curry with naan, and her dessert is kulfi and faluda. Now, that's quite interesting. Now, kulfi, that's Indian ice cream, isn't yeah, it? Right. And the faluda, explain that. Faluda is um, these noodles. Oh, right. Let's have a they're look at specially, them. Um, Can they're I lift those out? Yeah, sure. I have to cook them. To they're cook like them. spaghettis, but they're especially for desserts. You cook them in sweet water, right. you know, sweetened water, and then for a few minutes, and then let it cool. These are made into sweet drinks sometimes, aren't they? Do they... Oh, I'm not familiar with them. Yeah, no. No, I think they are. Yeah. I think they are used in sweet drinks. And you serve I do what I like about them. Yeah. It's the spiky touch, yeah. you yeah. see? Yeah, yeah. I love Does the Does it look color. similar yeah. to my hair? Uh, oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> I didn't get that one. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Anyway, from these three terrific semi-final contestants, we must select just one finalist. So to help me, let's go meet our two celebrity judges who will help make that big decision. Best of luck to you. Thank you.